They don't come medium. Oh, uh, do you guys have anything that's between a small and a medium? Oh, like a small medium? Yeah, perfect. No. I got indented, ribbed, wide cut, form fit, and regular. We are talking about the haunted house on Kirby Road. This one directed by Stuart Stone, who also co-wrote this movie. Now this one's a little bit of a weird one. It's a Canadian movie and is one part American Pie, three parts Haunted House movie. Sound bizarre? Well, yeah, I was kind of a little shocked by this one myself. So what's the story? Well, we have six teenage friends who decide one night that they kind of want to go out and party but don't know what they want to do, so they see a video online of a, an apparent real haunted house which happens to be somewhat in the vicinity of them. They actually recognise someone in the video. So they decide, hey, let's go do it ourselves. Let's go check it out. So we have a little bit of shenanigans at the beginning of the movie, hence the kind of the American Pie stuff, which seems oddly out of place in this film. Uh, so then we go to this, uh, this haunted house and obviously, as you'd probably expect, Things are not quite as they seem. There's this legend of this ghost here that seems to be uh, true. And if you look at this ghost in the eye, it will possess you and then, then bad things will happen. And inevitably, they do. So what do we think about the, ha the haunted house on Kirby Road? So yeah, it's, uh, it's a typical kind of teen, uh, you know, go into a haunted house movie. It really is. I mean, that, if you like that sort of thing, you'll like this movie, I expect. So let's talk about that American Pie reference. Uh, it was weird, but I kind of liked it in a weird way. It, it just seemed so different to have it in a kind of a, uh, a horror movie. So we have this kind of group of six kind of uh, teenagers, three guys and three girls. And of course, they're all quite different. You know, there's the slutty one. There's a the dumb jock one. There's the kind of like the, the nerdy stoner one. Then we have our two kind of like um, good guy, you know, protagonists and all that. The Virginia one, etc. Very, uh, very stereotypical kind of archetypes that we have here. And then we get all these kind of shenanigans going on the beginning, uh, you know, where there's kind of like a little, a little bit of kind of sex humor and drug humor and stuff like that. Does everyone in the States smoke dope? It just seems every film I ever see, everyone's always smoking dope in America. Anyway, um, so they all go to this house, and uh, when we get there, it, it, like I've said, I think it's actually there are some sort of big stuff that happens, and they do a fairly good job of showing you actually a reasonable amount of stuff on the screen, which is, which is quite good. Um, and there's a variety of different, fairly gory deaths, I've got, so the gore factor was actually a little higher than I was expecting here. And um, I think they wisely keep the effects to a minimum stand, uh, a minimum, the effects actually look kind of quite good. Uh, I think the acting is, is pretty good. Uh, it's acceptable for a kind of a, you know, a, a low budget horror film, I'd say. I don't think it's going to win any Oscars, but I think I don't think anyone's going to stood out as kind of like being um, you know, horrible. The characters are kind of broad and they're kind of stereotypes. And then I thought the acting was, was, was okay. There are some silly moments in this movie, though. I mean, for example, there's one scene where we have uh, a guy who's kind of being levitated by, uh, you know, an, a, a supernatural force. And then he kind of, he, you know, they put, he puts it back on the down, and then he's, he's kind of, um, he's, a nail goes through his foot, and then the force picks him up again, and his leg just breaks off. I thought, come on, that's ridiculous. You know, you know, a nail going through the foot is not going to make your bone, you know, bone in your leg snap. It's a little bit silly. Um, and this movie just very unoriginal, aside from having this weird kind of mishmash with these kind of two sort of genres. But uh, yeah, I think it was it was an okay horror film. It's certainly kind of um, not going to blow your socks off. It was kind of like I said, it's just very much a standard kind of haunted house film. The house seems particularly small. Um, I don't know really know why people. It seems that people don't really try and get out, which I found odd as well. They just kind of seem to stay in this house and make no real attempt to try and escape when kind of things start to go sideways. And we're not talking some huge mansion or come some type of like you know, um, asylum or where it's, you know, it can take a long time to get out. This is just a basic house. 
So it just, it's, not, it's not as if it's a massive long one to, to run away out of. So yeah, it was kind of bizarre. But I thought it was okay, I thought it was entertaining. Um, it held my interest, but it's just not particularly original. I'll give it a 5 out of 10, so a bang on average review. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.